Navalny targets billion dollar Putin palace in new investigation. Here's a summary of the article. Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny accused President Vladimir Putin of using fraudulently obtained funds to build an opulent billion-dollar estate in an investigation published Tuesday, after authorities jailed him on charges he says are politically motivated. The Praskovyevka estate on the Black Sea coast in southern Russia cost 100 billion rubles to build and is 39 times the size of Monaco, Navalny said in a video produced by his investigative team and recorded before his arrest, citing registration documents. Russia denies that Navalny was poisoned and refuses to open a criminal investigation into his attempted assassination until Germany provides his medical analyses. There are impregnable fences, its own port, its own security, a church, its own permit system, a no-fly zone and even its own border checkpoint. It is absolutely a separate state within Russia, Navalny said. Navalny claimed to have uncovered an elaborate corruption scheme involving Putin's inner circle that allowed him to hide billions of rubles and build the Grand Estate. By granting his old friends high-profile positions at partially state-owned energy giants and putting them in charge of lucrative government projects, Navalny said Putin was able to hide his wealth through friends he has known for over 30 years. Putin's friends, who received from him the right to steal whatever they wanted in Russia, thanked him a lot. But they also chipped in, collected 100 billion rubles and built a palace for their boss with this money, Navalny said. This post received a score of 6,700, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This palace is situated on a chunk of land three times bigger than my hometown. Holy fuck. Even living in this country, and knowing how corrupt our government is, this video was eye-opening to say the least. He keeps feeding people promises that barely anyone believes at this point, while handing out millions to his one-night fuck toys. Entire country literally in ruins, while these sorry excuses for people spend nation's money on furniture that costs as much as a decent flat. I think the only way to change their minds is to show that we must take care of each other and participate in politics visit elections at least. People forgot that there is not any monarchs to rule, just management. Government literally every day proves how wrong is everything, but who cares? They even make fun of Navalny and every investigation. We have no future with such slavery motifs. Hope I am wrong and latest news start our way to freedom. Do you honestly think that people's votes would affect that election? I feel like the actual votes are just thrown out and replaced with whatever Putin says the vote should be. Here's the video with the palace at around the 30-minute mark. 18,000 meters M2 is just under 200,000 square feet. That's just the main house. Never mind the 250 feet bridge to the tea house. That's a very large Home Depot or Walmart super center. That's fucking massive. This video is an amazing piece of investigative journalism. I just watched it all. When I started it was 3 hours old and had 400k views. When I finished 2 hours later it had 3.5 mm. According to Navalny, Putin's grift involves tens of thousands of political, business, and flat-out crime syndicate members, but at the end he notes that there are tens of millions of us. I don't think Vlad is going to like this. I think you are right. That guy needs to be careful. Someone might try to kill him. If I were him I'd be freeballing for the foreseeable future. I hope he doesn't get Epstein. Self-defenestration is the preferred method of suicide in Russia can add that 100 BLN rubles is just a rough minimal estimate, according to the video. The real cost of such a property is really hard to evaluate. In freedom units that's $1.354 billion for anyone that cares. Damn, imagine spending $354 million over a billion dollars on your home. There are English subs for this video by the way. And hash X200B, here's the investigation. It has English subs, so you can watch too. I had no idea he had a YouTube channel all of his videos get millions of views and he had over 5 million subs. This one is at 7.6m in just 8 hours. Other recent ones on his channel 20 meters plus. Sure, it has English subtitles. But Russians aren't sleeping on this. This video paints a picture of a man, Putin, that only barely has a grasp on things and his iron-clad hold is just an illusion. Good luck Russians. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.